Commercial window film insulation start in the standard way. Um, your normal cleaning practices, uh, six inch solid sleeping rooms, uh, water, and regular squeegee. Just your standard, uh, standard window cleaning process. Bird Divert is a dry apply only film. Practice, standard cleaning practices to clean the window. Uh, after that, you need to install it dry. Uh, step one, once you figure out your height and you have your material cut and prepped and ready, uh, the next step is to kind of figure out first placement. Uh, after you've cleaned the window, make sure the window edges are dry uh, so you're not pulling up any water. Step one in figuring out placement is a real simple trick. You just have to take the width of the window and figure out if it's even or odd. If it's an even number, you start right on the edge. If it's an odd number, bring it in about an inch for the first placement. Mm -hmm. You can see our film here has already been pre-cut and pre-prepped. Mm -hmm. Placing the first piece, the easiest method is to remove the small liner. Only install bird divert with the approved extruded aluminum channel. The placement of bird divert by simply placing the tool underneath, holding the top, you're able to keep it off of the glass, getting it into position. And moving it up and down. Once the film is in position, you just want to run your hand down it and check and make sure it's not off. From there, the tool needs to make contact with the film and the glass at the same time. Very simple process of peeling the liner back, applying even pressure with the tool, allowing the tool to lay down flat. Basically, you're installing a transfer film dry. Go all the way to the edge. Uh, after the first piece is installed, you want to make sure to leave that piece on because the next piece is how you align the second, third, fourth piece and so on. As you can see, you want to go vertically in the same direction. You will see that as you line up the blue lines, the small dots align with the big dots. If you go in the opposite direction, the big dots will switch. And uh, so you want to keep in the same direction every time. The placement of the second piece is similar to the first. <laughs> Basically, you can put a small gap, but you just want to align those, align the dots up and align the edge. 
At this point, check and see if it's straight. In the rare occasion that it's not straight, it can simply be removed. And replaced. Checking for placement. Move the liner. At this point, if you're doing a large window, uh, you can remove this piece while leaving this piece on. But we're gonna go ahead and place this one first. <clears throat> when you get to the edge of a film, it's best not to overlap. It's easier just to put it right on the other dots and go over top of the other transfer film making uh, install much easier, as you can see. Just remove the liner. You can place one single dot. And you can see that two dots are overlining each other. You can either trim that on the slitter or you just let them go to waste. When installing Bird Divert, always use the approved tool. Do not use a hard card as though you would normally do distraction markers. Uh, this will result in air bubbles being left behind. Uh, only use the approved tool. So no on that. Uh, removing the film. At this point, when you remove the film, you don't want to pull outward. You try to keep the film flat and at an angle off of the glass. Of course, you can see the dots remain behind and the transfer film goes. Mm -hmm. 